Alrighty folks, so I'm here working on our 57 Bel Air. Got a jack underneath of it. Got a jack stand. And I'm trying to be careful about this. I don't want to push it into a tree over there. But I'm trying to see how bad the frame really is. I, we might be okay. It's not terrible, but it's not great. But we might be okay. So, this thing had dual exhaust on it one time. And after looking at it closer, I think it had the uh, dealership logo was right here. And then uh, there's the other piece of that dual exhaust laid in the mud. And then still got this one attached. See, we still got the gas tank on it. That rear end was sitting in mud. We might be okay. I think we're gonna be okay to move it, I hope. I'm gonna jack this other side up here. Now the floor pans, this car is very rough, so the fender's hanging out right there, so it's it's she's rough. But I think it hood's just sitting on there. Yeah, that hood's just sitting on there. I thought something was wrong with it. I see what it is. The hinges are up, but the hood's sitting on there. I don't think the door will open. No, it will open. Yeah, look at that. That floor is gone. But it might be all right. I think the frame is still solid enough to move it and safe enough to move this car without tearing it into a million pieces. I'm hoping. Look at that. That door still shuts. That's crazy. Oh, I spoke too soon. That's okay. <laughs> I spoke too soon. That's alright. I ain't gonna mess with it. No, it opens. I just have to play with it. Put the dash clock everything's still in it so the windshield's not but i'm definitely gonna get it all right i'm gonna be back at it get back at it start dragging this thing up again look how tight it is and it's tight up here too everywhere every corner it's got trees all right